welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very quick video. Well, kind of quick, but kind of not. But we're going to try to keep it quick. So, yeah. I wanted to share with you guys my top favorite products, apps, songs, shenanigans, everything for 2015. Since we only have, like, what? A day left of 2015 so I wanted to go ahead and share these um, things with you guys really quickly I also wanted to personally come on here and say sorry for my hiatus from YouTube for the past three weeks um, my grandfather passed away last week and then uh, my grandfather was sick in the hospital in Texas the week prior to last week so um, I've been with my grandfather and I've just needed a little bit of space just to kind of um, to grieve so um, that's why I haven't been posting for like three weeks in a row. Um, but I, you know, New Year's coming. Um, if you don't want to believe what I'm saying, that's fine. Y'all know me better than I know me sometimes. So it is what it is. I wanted to share with you guys like some things I've really been liking for 2015. Since I don't do monthly favorites because I can't keep up, um, I'm going to try to start doing favorites for the year. So I think that might be a little bit easier. But anyway, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanted to share with you guys as a favorite is actually a makeup product. It is the NYX, my tube is dirty. It's the NYX um, Liquid Suede. And I'm actually wearing this right now. This one is in Soft Spoken. It's my favorite color ever. It's a nice, somewhat close dupe to Urban Decay's 1993 lipstick, which is matte, which is another one of my favorite lipsticks. It's in one of my purses, so I don't know where it is right now, but it's around. But I just love these. I love the consistency. I love the wear. I love the matte finish, and I love the fact that they actually stay put. They dry beautifully, and I just love them. They're so good, and they're not dry. Like, my lips don't feel dry. Like, I can still talk to you, um, but I just, I love this color. Again, this is in Soft Spoken. Favorite color ever right now. So once you put it on, you get that glossy look. But once it dries, girl, it's gonna mattify itself. So yeah, I love those. So yeah, I've absolutely been loving this lipstick. It's been my favorite for the rest of the year. I gravitate towards it more often, so that's my favorite. Another beauty product that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Have you ever noticed a lot of YouTubers say the word absolutely? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Isn't that funny? But I just said it though. So another one of my favorite beauty products, makeup products, is actually a mascara from Laura Geller. It's called Fortifying Lashes and it's actually an eyelash primer, but it's so bomb that you can wear it as a primer and then as a mascara. So I have it on right now. I got You guys can't really see my lashes because my hair is in the way and I have a smoky eye today. So I love this, you guys. It gives you like such awesome volume. Your lashes look super full. Your lashes look a lot longer. My lashes don't feel crunchy. They feel conditioned. Um, um, and they just they like they look like fake lashes so that's been my favorite mascara ever lately um, so I absolutely love that another product that I love from Laura Geller of course we all know about the Gilded Honey um, the highlighter the only thing mine actually broke so it's actually out of the container but it's fine I make do um, so yeah everyone's talking about this you'll see this all over Instagram but love this highlighter it's like the best thing ever gives you a nice like subtle natural highlight um, I just use it with a fan brush um, but I try not to pack it on too much because then it just looks like I just dump my face in glitter and iridescent stuff but I, I really like it and you you guys have seen it all over YouTube so you know what it looks like and all that stuff and I absolutely <laughs> I highly recommend my brown babies try the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter because it's the bomb. Trust me, girl. It's bomb. Another thing I want to put y'all on to, you heard it from me, I want to put you on. I'm putting you on. The It Cosmetics Brush Cleaner, Brush Bath for Ulta. <sighs> if you have never tried this, something is wrong with you. This literally, and I'm not just saying this because I work for It Cosmetics, this is the best damn brush cleaner you will ever find out there, okay? Um, I've used a lot of brush cleaner, the real technique one. It was it was cool. It was cool. I tried the Ulta one. It's super soapy. A lot of brush cleaners are really soapy because, you know, they're made to, uh, like, clean your brushes on the spot. But, I mean, personally, I did a blog post on cleaning your brushes and maintaining them, so I'll link that down below. But I also mentioned this product in the post. Best brush cleaner ever. You will literally, once you spray this on your brushes, you will see the product just fly out of your brushes. Amazing. If you've never tried it, you need to get one. It's really good. So another thing that I'm, uh, <laughs> I was just about to say it again. Another thing that I'm really obsessed over and crazy about this year that I treated myself to, so excited that I did, got it on QVC, installment plan. My Clarisonic. Ah. 
<laughs> I finally got one. It took me a long time to get one of these, but I finally got it off of QVC. I believe they had it for like six monthly installment plans of like $25 or $29 or something like that. So I'm paying for it monthly, which just makes my life easier. But let me tell you something. This thing is a life changer, okay? I know everyone says that on YouTube and you'll see a lot of bloggers say that they like are obsessed with this thing, but no, seriously, y'all. I'm obsessed with my Clarisonic, my skin, my skin. I can I can feel a difference in my skin. My makeup looks better when I put it on and my moisturizers and my serums just work 10 times better. So I do want to get a different brush head because this is the sensitive one and I feel like it's still kind of, it's just a too, I feel like it's just too much for my skin so I do want to get a softer brush head but this is the Mia 2. This has two speeds, two different speeds, see a lot of top light at the bottom so it has two different speeds but I just use this twice a day just to get my skin a deep clean and I've just been obsessed with it lately so this has definitely been one of my favorites like the top of the top of my favorites for 2015 love this so another thing I've been stupid obsessed with this whole year is snapchat uh, <laughs> I don't think we need to go in any further detail if you follow me on snapchat you know what my snaps are like if you don't check me out I'm uh, at Ray Sierra with two A's at the end yeah you should follow me on snapchat but I've, I've been obsessed with snapchat lately so I love that but since we're on the topic of apps um, I didn't download a lot of apps this year uh, I've been actually trying to like clear space on my phones for selfies so I had to make room for that so the app that I've been like stupid crazy over this year is Spotify um, I got it because my sister told me about it and ever since I've got it I've been hooked so I listen to Spotify like every day it has all the music I could ever want it has all the new albums it has playlists it has you know track discoveries where you can hear music you've never heard before it has so I know there's Apple music and stuff like that but like of course I'm a big Apple fan like I have a MacBook and my you know iPhone but like Spotify is like legit like I don't think I can get up Spotify like I'm sorry I just I I can't so since I love Spotify I want to tell you guys some of the music that I have been listening to lately and that I love um if you guys have not heard Justin Bieber's new album something's wrong with you this album is literally fire it's so good I got one of my guy friends hooked onto it so you know it's real if guys get hooked to Justin Bieber um so I've been loving that I'm um, also of course obsessed with traps so I listen to future a lot if you follow me on snap you know I listen to my future and I love my future um, I listen to some jazz on here I listen to Janet Jackson Beyonce Chris Brown Wale Lettucey Drake duh um, but I think the album of the year that I've been loving for 2015 I would have to say what a time to be alive from Drake and future um, that's Bay, so yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it's time to do, but uh, cause I got some really big teeth, and they need some really big rings. They need some really nice things. Better be coming with no strings. Better be coming with no strings. So my friend actually put me onto the internet this year. It's a it's a musical group. So dope, man. Just just so so dope. Um. The internet, they're like a, uh, they're like a, I don't know how to describe it, maybe like a neo soul slash uh, hip hop slash R&B slash, so yeah, I love the internet, girl is the best song ever, like you can't deny the song, it's legit, okay, legit, just listen to it, hey, darling I gotcha, whoa, girl, mm -hmm. They don't know your worth. Ba bum, bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Tell them you're my girl, girl. Can I sing? Anything you want is yours. Mmm, -hmm, yeah. So yeah, those are like my top songs for 2015. I have a lot. So I don't want to bore y'all with all the music that I love or that I've been loving for 2015, but those songs right there have definitely been on my list. Another thing that I've been obsessing over, my favorites are the Target planners. I just got a new one today. This is for 
my YouTube and my social media because I'm trying to revamp everything for 2015 and I'm really trying to get on this year. So I got a planner just for it and I believe this is another collection from Whitney English. Um, I got my original planner from her too, the one I used for work, but I decided to get one for my own work. So I love this. It's sugar paper. It has like every everything in it I'm just I'm really excited to start getting in here and writing down all of my ideas and getting things together and getting organized again and being a real youtuber anytime I get new stationery, I always get new pens so I got these colorful pens from the dollar store so I got these colorful ones I love colors so I figured um, for my desk I got this cute cup from the thrift store I believe it was like 50 cents um, and it has like a gold um, trim around it, but I like that it's clear and I can see the colors. I love these. So something else I want to do this year is start to read again. This is 52 Ways to Live a Kick-Ass Life from Andrea Owen. I started reading this book. I'm on chapter 10 and it's just a really like like down-to-earth book. Like there's no sugar coating in here. This is this is raw. This is honest. This book is just as real as it gets. I'm not really forcing myself on any sort of resolution. I just want to treat it like it's a new day. Treat a new the new year like it's a new tomorrow or something like that. I don't want to just switch everything up completely because when you switch stuff up drastically that's when nothing sticks. This is the book I have and I love it. It's so good. I just started reading it. It's so 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 good. So that's all for my favorites video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys for sticking with me and watching all the videos. I love you guys so so much. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you've enjoyed it and also leave a comment down below uh, what's your favorite products for 2015 whether it's makeup your favorite song which favorite movie let me know also let me know if you are interested in trying any of these products or if you've already tried them um just let me know i'd love to hear y'all's feedbacks don't forget to check out my blog i will leave a link down below so you guys can check out the new layout and the revamp thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys so much and i will see you in 2016 love you Growing up, I used to always hate my voice. Confession number four is I'm still a virgin.